Um, hello people. Uh, I'm just making this video to share my testimony and also to kind of introduce my channel to YouTube. I, uh, I, don't, I never had a channel before and I've never done a video to open up a channel before like this. So this is my first video for YouTube and um, I'm a, I just want to share my testimony basically. I want to share my experience with God and how the Holy Spirit has reached me through God and how the Holy Spirit has changed my life and my unique story basically which every believer in Christ has. Um, so I guess I'll start by sharing my testimony. I'm holding a, I'm holding my Bible right now because I'm a little nervous. I just prayed before this video that God would be with me and guide this message that I would say what he wants me to say. So um, basically my testimony happened in uh, January of 2015, 2015. And, um, you know, I was a different person. I was doing things I shouldn't have been doing. Um, I was under the influence. I wasn't a loyal. I had a girlfriend and I wasn't loyal. I was uh, just doing all the wrong stuff, basically. And there was a time where I was under the influence and basically the police were called for a reason that I don't want to go into. And um, I was just out of my mind, basically. I was just doing things I shouldn't have been doing. And I remember it was like I was having a conversation with myself in my head. But usually you have a conversation with yourself and it sounds normal. But every time I would ask a question in my head, I would hear a very distinct voice or a, an answer that wasn't me. It was another being. It was some. It was someone else answering me in my own head. And this has never happened to me before. And basically the first thing that was shown to me was a heavenly image. And it was of my greatest desires of my heart. And uh, I really wanted that. So as soon as I asked for that, it told me you can have anything you, you want and you can be anything you want. But all you have to do is just learn. That was the main message it gave me. Just learn. And um, I said, okay, I'll do anything. And then I said, can I, you know, can I just have that heavenly image? And then it showed me a specific sin that I used, I committed my whole life, I used to. And uh, it's, it was basically showing me this, like, hey, this is what you did, and you can't have this if you're if you're doing this sin. And with myself, I, I was never into God, I was never into religion, so I said, all right, well, um, you know, in the back of my head, I was like, all right, well, I'll still do that sin sometimes, you know? And as soon as I said that in my head, it showed me a darkness and I was visualizing a blackness which got blacker and it was like an eternal suffering. It was, in my opinion, it was hell, but it showed me in that blackness committing that sin and I was just being completely tortured, like tormented. I visualized myself with like scourges and like bruises and bumps all over my body in that sin. And um, it took me a few months to realize what happened but going back to what was going on, I was under the influence. The police were called. I got in a little scuffle with the police, and they um, put me in the hospital. They kind of beat me up. And uh, I remember I was in the hospital. A, a, an elderly man came in, and I was kind of strapped away in a little chair. Or not a chair, in a bed. And uh, I was strapped down, and an elderly man came in and asked me, Can I do a prayer for you? And uh, I didn't really care, but I had nothing else. So I was like, Yeah, go ahead, do a prayer. And when he was praying, I just remember, I just started to reflect on what I was doing and all the bad stuff. And I was just, I just started to weep basically. And this never really hit me this way. I started to weep in a way that I was conscious of all the bad things I used to do. But now I was brought aware to them and they really mattered. Like all the, all the bad stuff I used to do didn't really matter. But now it was like my life depended on these things. I, I could not do them anymore. Of course, after this experience, you know, a few months goes by, I'm still doing the same old stuff. And, um, you know, here I am today, a completely new man. I've changed completely in Christ. Um, and I take total confidence in that, that, you, you know, Jesus Christ can change you. And that is the goal, is that he crucified his flesh so we can crucify our old flesh with all the desires that are with them. Um, and... This is basically my testimony. Um, my channel 
is going to be 100% devoted to Jesus Christ. Any messages, anything that I want to get out to the body of Jesus Christ, that's what this channel is for. Anybody who is new, this channel is for everybody. So this isn't just for the body of Christ. This is for the people who don't know Jesus Christ, people who are just on the fence about it, the people who might be going through a very hard time in their life. This is for you. Um, my goal right now is to plant those seeds. I want to get... Um, the idea of Jesus in your life so God can come down and just water that and he can let that blossom in you and your life and everything you do. So that's what this channel's for. Um, and my most important message for this particular video is just to love everybody. Um, there is there is no greater commandment than just to have that love, you know, that, that patient, self-controlling love that, you know, you can just humble yourself and just take your time and just be good to people so that's what this channel is about that's why i'm doing this uh, i'm doing this to help you find jesus christ i'm doing this to to help you find the truth in this age we're living in uh right now the year 2017 we're living in a time of great deception you know you go back five thousand years ago and this was the best thing that was in the world now for some sad reason, this isn't the most important thing in the world when it comes to our hearts. Now, the most important thing in the world is, you know, just like just like a cell splits itself. You know what I mean? The spell, the cell is always growing. That's exactly what happened to the world and you know all this technology and everything we're experiencing. It's just growing outwards, and the distraction is greater. But we are living in a time of great deception. Um, there is a lot of deception in the system we're living in. There's a lot of lies that is put through movies, television, media. They use fear tactics to uh, manipulate our thoughts and our ideas in the media. So, you know, on television, there's a lot of like lust and a lot of bad things that, you know, children can see. And it's a, it's a subconscious effect. They have all these, you know, lustful things to affect your subconscious basically that's what the enemy is out to do right now he basically has confusion and deception intertwined in the system that we're living in basically you know the music the food i mean everything everything has you know everything the enemy has tried to use against you but right now my main message is just to love everybody that is the most powerful thing on this planet is the force of love unconditional love can drive someone to do you know very powerful things in this world so um just keep your hearts with jesus and um, i hope this message reaches you and i urge you guys to ask me questions i'm going to be making more videos this is my uh, first video for my introduction of this channel and um